I love it. I love watching actual people with actual combat experience in those uh in those in those situations. It's just so much fun. Where it's I'm like, looking at a video now. Soldiers never... try airsoft kill streaks. So wait, let me let me see this and then I'll send it to you guys. <gasps> yeah, BB! Various suit! Wait, what? Various suit. suit. It's the next level suit yeah! that Samus has. Ah, nice. Yep. Hell yeah. Hey. Suit! Bavaria! Got it. That was not what I was hearing. I am so sorry. Did you hear ovary? No. Ovaries. I, heard, I did hear furry suit, but okay. Furry no, Varya of, suit. Uh... <laughs> yeah. I mean, Mario got a furry suit. Why not her? <laughs> I mean... I mean, this is I mean, a glamorous cool. moment. You have to make a fucking joke over it. I see how it is. I Does... make jokes over everything, Gary. Yeah. Do you think uh, that Mario shits like a cat when he's wearing the cat suit? Oh God. Needs more sand. Let's test. I mean, depending on how you look at it. Maybe it's like some cursed after image of him like screaming while like dragging his ass on the sand. Yes, that's exactly what I was getting at. No, have you seen that yeah. video of like this is the most cursed cat video? That's what I'm basing it off in my head. Oh God. Uh, I'm the papa. Oh, the health tank. Them, it. those shoulder pads. Mm. All the shoulder pads. Thick. Ah, uh, it's going good. But Azure Lockhart, <laughs> thick banana booty. <laughs> not, I agree. not again. I agree. <laughs> you you doing all right there, Vlad? Samus is a fit woman. What can I say? <laughs> I mean, right. Really? That she is. I mean, she, how could, I mean, it's kind of hard for her not be. He fit. Mm. She got a midriff. I don't know what to say. Sorry, yeah, other fictional girls. It's Vlad a wrap for y'all. It's a wrap for y'all. I mean, she is superior, so. Women with it's like it's like Yukina from Cabinary in the Iron Fortress. She got that back muscle definition. I just it's a wrap for all y'all. I can't. I don't need the rules! I mean, she is superior, so... Uh, Even like, I can't deny it. This is a lot. Ah. I mean, there's- I got a picture in my- in my folder that just encapsulates the whole emotion really, really, really well. I mean, it's just how I be. Like, I don't know. I got a type. What can I say? I can't wait- I can't wait for the She-Hulk show. That's going to be a wrap. Vlad <laughs> <laughs> is going to be very excited for this. Well, um, okay. I guess I can't go there. You can go anywhere. Na 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 na. Oh, speaking of go. Metroid. Yes. The uh, the new game that's coming out. Dread. Dread. Yeah. Yeah. What uh. What are your thoughts on the new enemies that they introduced? She looks like a she looks like a portal ripoff, and I live for it. <laughs> a lot of people compared that that thing to um, Otto from Molly. Sir, no, I I, I see more of the girl fr of the Metroid villain. I I forgot what her name was. Metroid villain. But not Metroid villain, uh, portal villain. I forgot her Glados. name. Glados. Glados. Glados, yeah. She reminds me of a, like a Walmart great value Glados, and I <laughs> love that for her. <laughs> I okay. I'm just surprised. It's been 16 fucking years. No, it's been 19, but yeah. Since fusion. Yeah, 19 years. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's been in the pot for like well over a decade, almost two decades, and now it's finally seeing. Up. Someone's oh, like oh. somebody said that Metroid Wait, what's Dread. What? Oh nothing. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I was told like there's an article somewhere saying that uh, Metroid Dread is going to be like the officially last installment. I'm like, really? So after like two mm -hmm. decades, you're not going to bother with the main entries anymore? I don't know about that. And if that's the case, what is the point? Cause like if you really think about it, we still have Metroid Prime Four, which ha we have yet to kind of witness. I would assume that Metroid but Prime it... Four would take place after Fusion. Yeah, but it's just like, 
why would they because i get it it takes a really long time to make this series especially since it's been like what four years since they announced metroid prime 4 and now they're giving us like a skip or at least like a given game that supposedly released on 2006 2007 but now it's released but it's just why would they cancel this as a whole is what i want to know yeah it does make sense it's I, such wasted potential because now we can't get any that's like what we were potential talking about yeah saying that's the end of the saga it's like you're just gonna end it there after 20 years people were waiting i just yeah. want i want be another three that's what i was hoping to see honestly same i like my witch ladies same i like my pole dancing angel slaughter and witch ladies yeah. Me. Where's my fucking Where's my fucking game, Camilla? I I hey. gave you that money. I gave you that money on your Patreon for you to fucking block me on Twitter. Where's my goddamn game, Camilla? <laughs> <laughs> Love that. This, what are your What are you guys' thoughts on the on the updated trailer for Breath of the Wild two? I I I I. I, 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 I I still want to know what Can the durability system is going to be in Breath of the Wild 2. Say, man. I I'm called that Link was going to lose his arm. At, they did say at one point that, yeah, they're using, like, all the resources, but it's kind of just, like... Azure, I can't. That block, uh, that part of the block, it's blocked off by, um, it's one of those things where you just stand on top of it and then it just fades off. And obviously, yeah. I can't get through that. Ow, fucker, get out of here. But yeah, it's just like, it's one of those things where they might make it a new thing, but they're probably going to bring back all the shit that has been happening. I don't know. I mean, this is the first time that Link's ever been, ever had a handicap, so, like, prevalent. What kind of Oh, yeah, that is here? what caught me by surprise. It's like, I mean, did, they just, did they just cut off Link's arm? I called that that was gonna happen when the original thing came out, because like people have been like, give him a fucking like a like a like a like a fucking Sekiro arm. That would be sick. Wait, 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 wait. What? He his arm got cut off. Where where did this you, happen? You know. can tell in the trailer his right arm is his uh, right arm is completely robotic. Yeah. Huh. It's chic. I, it's chic technology. I didn't yeah. notice it. What? Huh? Like if I... fucking like the thing about. Breath of the Wild is that if Breath of the Wild one is like the start from the bottom, oh, and it, the lava. Breath of the Wild two okay. would be the fucking like ground up for what's gonna happen. Ganondorf's gonna hundred percent FC Link rip off his goddamn arm and go ha ha. Oh, Dusky, I texted you. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I when I saw the trailer I... for the new game, I was like, did they just? Did yes. they just I I. I'm shocked. I was very shocked that they went there. His arm's they gone. Went there. Yeah. And I'm I, trying oh, to damn it. I'm trying I, to remember. Just... Is that supposed to be his arm where well, he holds that was his sword? That is the uh that's the arm where he keeps the uh the Triforce, I do believe. I believe that yeah, his the Triforce is in his right. Okay, Not his dominant. That makes it even that makes Not it his... even more scary. He's like, oh god, did Gedidor just ripped off the Triforce off his arm? That's terrifying! Holy Wait, Christ, Nintendo! Hang on. I mean, he needs it. I see bugs over here. Come on. Ganondorf so, craves it. Yeah, he craves it that badly that he literally would rip your arm off for it. Yikes. Oh, damn it. Gan <sighs> Fuck. Ganon craves that mineral. I just want yeah. the weapons durability system not to be as I uh, egregious. Yeah. Yeah. It, I that, agree. Like, uh, it just—it the... was just annoying. And it if they're going to have it, single web... Yep. If they're if they're going to have it, allow you to go to like a blacksmith or something to have your weapons repaired. Exactly. Oh, I agree. Exactly. I agree. They give you. Somebody. Aeon. Aeon. Yeah, he has to go. Uh, Aeon. Oh, oh okay. okay. Goodbye, brother. Goodbye, brother. Like, uh, it, just, it made every every weapon you got feel super 
Superfluous. Yeah. There Super we go. Superfluous. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Sweet. If like if like I said, if they're gonna bring it back, just give you the ability to like go to a blacksmith and pay a few rupees to have your your shit repaired, because you right. can find rupees basically everywhere. Back to Norfair. Like, like if you're going to make like a like Holy Skyrim, shit. then at least let you be able to repair and even like enchant and upgrade your weapons and shit. Oh yeah. Allow me to get some radical shit. Allow me to fucking repair my eightfold sword or whatever it's called. Yeah. <sighs> it's always good to have repair. TLDR, if you're gonna put a durability system in your game, allow there to be a way for you to fix your shit. Absolutely. Ow! I totally Not agree to shatter that. into a million pieces. And oh, I got... I've got the Hillian shield, which is supposedly, according to the lore, which we are still following here, indestructible. It broke. Yeah. That's why I, I never, I never did the sleep, the shield sledding thing because I never figured out how to do it. And every time I would do it, I would break a shield. So eventually, I was just like, I was just like, fuck it. I don't want to break any more shields. What's I'm, I'm not gonna here? do this thing. Oh, it's a map room. Bro. Damn, my sword broke. Damn, my shield broke. I was watching a Jim Sterling's Damn, broke. video on the weapons durability in Breath of the Wild again for the first time in years. And I love how he, he like compared some of the weapons to a fucking Twizzler. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here looking like a damn Twizzler! Yeah. Why the fuck are you or, out here or, looking like a damn Roblox character? Sorry, not he, they, they. Hang on, is there They're anything under here? No? <laughs> okay. What about over here? Also, also, what got me very excited is that they're gonna route the uh, Duncan Rumpa games into the Switch. Yeah, I saw that. <gasps> I heard about that! Yes! Oh, oh. Spe speaking of uh, Switch ports, uh, Vladdy Daddy, how do you feel about that Shin Megami Tensei? I'm fucking ready. <laughs> the game looks good. It is, yeah. because every single Shin Megami Tensei game is quality. Uh -huh. I know, I'm just, I'm just look, I'm looking forward to seeing people play the game. It's like, okay, this is going to get a lot of people excited, so I know what to expect. Everybody talks about Persona, but nobody talk about Shin Megami Tensei, goddammit. Persona good, yes. Cat, Jazz, fucking ooh, hot e-girls, fucking Shin Megami Tensei allows you to kill God with the power of friendship. It was the first game that allowed you to do that. Um, I should I should really play Tokyo Mirage Session sometime. You should. Yeah, it, it looks it is, like a decent game. It is the best of both worlds. It is Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei. Yep. It is when, the best. Uh, Boom. Since you... Oh, okay, so a fan of Fire Emblem, I see. Um, have you played Path of Radiance? Yes. That game was I, sold online for a ridiculous price. I am thankful that it was the one GameCube game that I kept. Yeah, same. Because when I got my GameCube, uh, like, two years ago, my mom got me a GameCube for Christmas. I was like, oh, good! I can play this again. And then I looked for how much it retailed online and was like, oh god. Now all I need to yeah. do is get a hold of How much is it now? Uh as of today, let's oh, look. at least a hundred bucks. Path of Radiance. How much this game how much this game sell for? Shopping. I love how we all end end up like cavemen when we're looking things up on Google. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Well, uh, a new factory sealed version can sell up words of one thousand five hundred dollars. Well, sealed up games are di yeah, no, it's actually that's not as bad as I was expecting. But for a used. like lightly used one, for a lightly used one, uh, that'll run you about like two hundred seventy, three hundred forty dollars. Yes, Jesus Christ! Jeez. It's a really hard game to get your hands on nowadays. Oh my heavens! Also, it had like a lot of 
unique, like, it had a lot of mechanics that haven't really been used in a Fire Emblem game since then. Like, the ability to craft your own weapon, uh, based on the different weapon types. You can make, like, a bronze sword that was arguably better than an armor slayer. Which probably nobody except for Golden knows what the fuck those are. I certainly don't. Okay, so, uh... Baking propaganda. Bron bronze swords were the lowest class of weaponry. You had, like, bronze tomes, bronze spears, bronze axes, bronze Wait, bows, what, and bronze what, swords. What is this in? Fire Emblem. Ah, okay. They're, I like, the lowest... The they're the lowest tier of weaponry. Uh, armor, right. armor slayers are swords that are specifically made to kill heavily armored enemies. So, like, if you see <laughs> an enemy that has, like, a like a sprite that has, like, heavy plate armor on, you're gonna want an armor slayer. You could, in Path of Radiance, uh create a bronze sword that had the same effect, if not better, stats than an armor slayer. And you could, like, tint it pink and shit. Oh, and like that those. mechanic hasn't really been used in a Fire Emblem game since then. Hmm. There's also, it Go ahead. It was one of the only games that had a direct continuation that you could carry over your save from in the form of Radiant Dawn on the Wii. So, like, if you played Path of Radiance and a bunch of your party members died in that game, they would still be dead in uh, Radiant Dawn when you played the game. Oh, jeez. So, like, the actions that you took and the people you lost in the previous game had a direct effect on the world, lore, and story of the follow-up game. That's interesting. I like that. Now, me being me, and I'm a completionist shit... I played on realistic because, you know, there's no fun. And there's, there's no fun in playing Yeah, there's no fun in playing a game where there's consequences for your actions if those consequences aren't enforced. Mm. Well, so yeah. I played the game on realistic. I was just really, really, really meticulous and would make sure that none of my people got killed. Right. So when I carried over to the next game, I was like, Oh, look, it's all of them! I, I recruited those people! And then I got, like, half of them killed. Because the game was Aww. harder. Than, the game was harder than <laughs> Radiant Dawn. And I wasn't as careful. Because I assumed, because they were NPCs and new, like, characters in the new game, that wouldn't happen. But even if they're not in your party, and they're still on the battlefield, they can still die and permanently die. Therefore, locking them out of later games in... The sto like in the late like later missions in the story, so my dumbass who thought that because I had enabled them survival in the previous game that made them safe in this game that's not how it worked. <laughs> there is something that used to irritate me whenever it came to playing um, Fire Emblem, and that is the enemies always went for the weakest. That was so cheap. Yep. Yeah, that, that was that, I. That's what yeah. No. Happen. I had like a. Like, just out of the game's design, um, I was encouraged to have a boy and a girl fight in fucking combat. I'm like, these are kids. Why should I do that? And as soon as the round begins, they go straight for them. Now I have to deal with a guilty conscience. Yep. They would also do the same thing with, uh, they would target, uh, casters and healers because they were physically the weakest and didn't have as much health or defense. Now, you could obviously game that by giving them, like, different, like, equipment, like, chainmail shirts and stuff to boost their defense and whatnot, but the game is programmed like it's an actual war scenario. The enemies will target the the support characters because they know that it will ultimately cripple your strategy, and also because they're the easiest ones to go for. Which is cheap, but it's ingenious. That's why I love Fire Emblem. Hmm. I can't tell you how many times I had to restart an entire mission because I lost my healer. In short, if you play Fire Emblem, uh, make sure you have a tank or a heavy DPS character covering your support characters, like your healers and casters, I all the time. I kept one of them with me. I forgot what her name was, but she's on, like, a white horse, and she's powerful yes. as fuck. Yep. It's, it's, it's just a good idea. Keep, keep somebody close to your supports so that they don't die. Right. That makes sense. It's it's a bad it's a bad time if they die. It. Uh, 
Chapter 3 houses two years ago. I'm not sure when there's going to be another game soon in the series. And yep, Vlad, that's what I did. Yep. I Three houses, I am so happy that it was so well received. It's such a good game. Which deals with a lot of weird and very topical subjects. Like religious extremism and racism and slavery. So, you know. Good. Sounds like Bioshock to me. So, good, you know, <laughs> good. I mean, the entirety of uh, the entirety of Path of Radiance was like Ike's whole thing was like, "Hey, these animal people that everybody is like racist towards, can we all stop that, please?" I don't like racism," said Ike the <laughs> Ranger, who didn't even use a bow. <laughs> do, you th do you think we'll hear anything about Bioshock Four anytime soon? I Wait, there's would... supposed to be a Bioshock 4? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like you have my attention. I would say Damn no. It. You have my Damn attention. It. But what would even they happen in it? Well, Damn they it. announced it a while back, like this past year, I think. That I they need were to see this immediately. Hold on. I would not hold my breath that it's going to be announced anytime soon. Right. I... All we know so far, the only thing that we know so far is that it's supposed to be open world. Oh no. Which, oh. These are story driven things. I, I don't know. Uh, oh, I, I I'm know that. worried about it because I'm afraid that they're going to make it a games as a service thing. Oh games as a service no. Meaning what? This, and Mean this, is 2K, this is 2K games we're talking about too. Mm. Yeah. Meaning that they're going to chalk it full of DLCs. Oh uh, no. And money and microtransactions to make their money. Because oh. again, it's 2K games. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gonna be a Oh, thing. and they they got their thing out of uh EA games, did they? 2K is basically the biggest competitor for EA in the way that they will nickel and dime you for everything you've got. Oh, Jesus. Yep. The well, only Bioshock games before that happened. The only game franchise that 2K doesn't really do that with is the XCOM series. There we go. And I think that's Surprisingly. the 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 only reason they do that is they ah! can't do that is because Firaxis still technically holds all the rights to that game. Jesus. So 2K is just the publisher. Firaxis is the one who has everything else, like can and calls the shots with the uh, the XCOM franchise. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> I'm still kind of upset that Starlink is going to be a Xbox One exclusive oh. or Xbox Series X exclusive or whatever. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's. I try mean, this. I'm, I am. I am hoping it comes to Steam, but I'm. Hmm, not, I'm not certain. 